The key to being a really good reality show host is to make it look easy. What would surprise viewers most about your job? The, for me, it's the prep that you do that goes into it. So what you do is, I, I'm really quite nerdy. I was always a bit of a geek and I was slightly academic at school. And so I have that tendency anyway. And so it's my prep, it's my prep that I know, it's my lines that I know, I know where I've got to be, I know what I've got to do. I, I know, I've written script, we've gone through it, we know absolutely everything. So that when it actually comes to being in the moment, you're not, you can tune in and tune out of the person in your ear and you know exactly where they've got to be and what camera you are on and what light and what cue you need for the, for the sting, for the sound and you don't even think about it and you're just in the moment with the person. And that's the only mm. way you can do it because otherwise you miss all the best bits because mm. you're too busy worried about who's screaming in your ear and, and, <laughs> and the mechanics of it. You know, I've seen some terrible, you know, there's been terrible times where you see people on screen and you know that people are screaming into their ear. Knowing what I know, I just know that people are screaming and they're saying they're running out of time and there's, and you can, and they can barely get their words out. And then someone, you know, a 14-year-old kid will drop to their knees because they, they're they leaving the show and they'll pat them on the head. And you think to yourself, oh, my God. <laughs> like, Kat, you're talking about live TV, right? Yeah, yeah with live yeah. TV, exactly. It, you, you, uh, you can't do you that. You have many plates spinning in the to, air. You have so many. And again, that, like Mark said, it's, it's your, also your producer on the show as well. They've also got to trust you too. Because otherwise, they're two seconds behind if they're sitting in a gallery watching all the screens and then they're trying to tell you a question to us, they're, they're behind already, whereas you're in the moment with the person. And it, this is just my own thing, but I, I won't lie on a camera. I won't. I'll find something else to say if I need to, but I'm not going to lie because I think that the audience picks... They won't be able to go, well, she doesn't believe that, or my nose is growing like Pinocchio, <laughs> but they'll turn around and they'll go, there's something that's not they'll quite feel it. right. Yeah, it's yeah. like a weird... And so I just won't. So I'll, I'll, I'll say something else, believe you me. I'll <laughs> say something else. If you had to choose your most favorite or most meaningful moment from one of your shows, what would it be? I think all the shows, I think they offer people an opportunity to springboard to something else, no matter, no matter what you do. And I think it actually does, it can change people's lives if people see the opportunity and grab it with both hands mm -hmm. and, and turn it into something that's going to make a difference. You know, for us, it's... There are kids that, that come from very, very, you know, mm. economically challenged, let's say, families, and they, they come onto the show and you don't, you don't, you only hear these stories when you sit and you talk and you turn around and you go, oh my God, I'm so lucky, I can't be. Yeah. Because you sit there and, and the, they'll turn around and the, uh, there was one girl this season, this season, she had um, never been on an aeroplane before until uh, we flew her to Vegas. She'd never been out of the Bronx before and she looked after her handicapped mother and her father was an alcoholic who would... And, and there was like a... There's a whole story. And, and you suddenly turn around and you go, yeah, we are looking for America's favourite dancer and there is going to be a winner at the end of it. But in actual fact that girl's life could be completely changed beyond recognition so her wildest dreams could come true if if she wants it and if she's prepared to work at it. So, you know, she could come on the show and she could go on tour with Daddy Gaga or she could go and be in a step she up movie. She could become Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Yes, and she could. she could. And, and you yeah. take somebody from that and you go, oh my God, this is... This could completely it's, transform yeah. their yeah. life. Carrie Underwood story. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Absolutely, absolutely.